Hello and welcome to the IT Career Guide YouTube channel. In today's video, we talk about the uh, exam for the Network Plus certification and how difficult that exam is. In a previous video, I talked about what is the Network Plus certification, and we uh, very briefly will talk about that again today. But then we'll go deep and talk about how difficult the exam is associated with the certification. Then we'll talk about uh, really um, study recommendations and uh, I'll let you go with some final advice uh, and hopefully that will be helpful that you can pass the exam. If you are new to the IT Career Guide YouTube channel, I will talk about IT certifications, which areas of IT should you get into or can you get into, what do you need in regards to education. But now let's get back to the Network Plus certification exam. So first of all, what does the Network Plus certification actually cover? So the Network Plus certification talks about the networking concepts, so really the basics, what is networking. It talks about the infrastructure, network operations, network security, network troubleshooting, and tools related to the troubleshooting. So these areas are covered, and um, the certification really will guide you through these topics. Um, with the training that you can go through. Of course, you can study for yourself, self-guided. Uh, there are plenty of resources on the internet and it's really good to uh, really approach a certification with that structure. And um, I will link to the outline of the certification so that you can follow that structure just in case you go self-guided through this. When you go into the exam, how much is really covered from the different areas that I just talked about? So the uh, network concept, so the basics of networking, make about 23% of the exam. So you can expect 23% of the questions uh, will be related to the networking concepts. On the other side, infrastructure is only covered with 18%. What is infrastructure? Switches, routers, gateways, these type of pieces, and of course a lot more, be it cabling, what type of uh, cable distances, and so on. And then networking operations is covered with 17%. Network security is quite important, is 20%. And then how to troubleshoot a network and the related tools, 22%. And this makes about 100% of the exam. So which areas of the Network Plus certification exams are really the difficult ones? And well, the answer I have to give you is, yeah, it depends on you. It really depends on you how much work experience you potentially have. Or if you don't have any work experience, how quickly are you able to learn and to study and to memorize the basics, but also to understand them. And I will come to that understanding portion here shortly in this video. So it really depends on you and how, you, how good you are with learning. If you work in this field already and you have some experience, the exam will be a little easier or appear easier um, for you compared to somebody with zero experience. If you are new to IT, the entire exam will be difficult and challenging for you. So just based on the rating, if we would go from a 1 to a 10, I would say if you are new to IT, it will probably be a solid 7, maybe even an 8 for you. There are some networking concepts that are challenging, and if you don't understand those, well, and you go into the exam, you're at a very high risk of not being able to answer all the questions. So I spent some time researching how often people fail this exam or how long does it take until they pass it. And based on my research, be it Reddit, YouTube, Google in general, 65 to 70% of the people taking the exam fail the very first attempt. So 30 to 35% pass on the very first attempt. So it tells you a little bit how challenging the certificate exam is. And uh, hopefully it's a good reminder for you to spend appropriate amount of time studying. Don't just go and look for tests, example tests, or anything of these kind of simulators and study with that. That will not be enough. You need to understand really the concepts to be able to go through this exam. You need over 700 points. I think it's 720 points to pass this exam. Don't underestimate how hard it is. So what are some study recommendations for you? So the first thing is really do not just learn what a term or a concept is you need to understand the how and the why. The how and the why are really how you can take the exam and not fail. There will be questions that will go and not just ask simply what port is SSH using. The how and the why are really that important. 
So um, don't just go and learn what uh, 802.11a is. Yes, it's 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I totally get that. So, but you should some you should as an example understand the question: Why would you want to use 802.11a versus a different wireless standard? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? So that's where you need to think about the how and the why, not just simply learn that 802.11a is 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So another piece of advice is. Um, there are some parts really that are simply worth just to memorize it. As an example, which port for which protocol is in use? What does SSH use? What is SSL and which port does it use? What is the default port on a web server? So these things are easy to memorize. So don't spend a lot of time on these areas, but make sure you understand it. The reason why I'm saying this is remember the how and the why. There will be questions that come in and uh, you have to read it and there will be answers and you might be given a variety of ports and you need to understand it. It's simply if you understand the port number and you take that question apart, it's very easy to say, okay, web server, secure, SSL, 443. So just is just an example. So those areas are easy to learn. Other areas you really need to go deeper and find out why or how something works a certain way it is. So the other thing I showed you earlier of the different areas what this exam is made for. So um, you remember the 23% for the networking concept, the basics. So really there's a lot of stuff that you need to cover and that you need to understand. So the broad knowledge in this area is important. Sometimes you can just make that logical connection with that knowledge for this certain area. So how is a network built? What protocol are you using? Why is a network built a certain way? So these are basics that you need to understand. It's not going really that deep. You're not a network engineer, um, even if you pass the Network Plus um, exam. So here's an example really of how this goes. So a user is trying to establish a secure connection to a web server. Which ports need to be opened on this web server for a secure connection for this user? And then it lists three options as the potential answers. So as an example, there's A, 22. There's B, 443, or C, maybe the port 500 or whatever it is. So now think about it. If you take this question apart, secure connection, connecting to a web server. A web server usually runs on port 80 or when it's um, secured with an SSL certificate and uses uh, SSL, that's port 443. You have to take this apart. That's where this comes in really. It's not just a question, what is? You have to think really, okay, and look at the different parts of the question, secure web server that gives you really just two default ports, 80 and 443. 80 is not secure, it's not encrypted, leaves you 443. 443 is one of the options in these answers. A lot of critical thinking is involved. You really have to think about taking these multiple pieces of information, analyze them and fit them together. So just like I had it mentioned before, secure connection, web server. Now you can understand and take a question apart and really look for the different pieces. So don't um, try to guess something, just look for pieces. What are they talking about? So there are usually two or three hints in each question and they can be misleading specifically when you look at the answers. So take a moment, spend the time and really put the dots together. Sometimes it's uh, gonna go to be difficult, you can guess. But if you really take the time and go through, you might figure it out. And that's a quick reminder here. Do not spend too much time on a question. If you read that question two or three times and you have no clue, then guess it, mark it and move on to the next one. You can come back later and take another look. So you might be thinking Network Plus, this test and this exam is just about networking. But in reality, it's about critical thinking and your skills and how you can identify the different parts related to networking. Networking is not just black and white. If you design a network, you need to know many, many different pieces, be it the usage of the network, which portion of the network might be exposed, where do you need to put a firewall, where do you need to put a DMZ. So there's a lot of critical thinking involved and um, network maps are very critical piece as an example. It gives you a lot of information. So interviewing the right people when you work on a network and do different things is very important. So how difficult is the Network Plus certification exam really? What would I say? So I mentioned it before, if you are breaking into IT and you are new and you are not having 
any background experience in networking, I would say this is a solid seven, maybe even an eight for you. If you work in this field and you want to go from a junior level position to a mid-level, it's most likely to be easy. I would probably say a five or a six. So another piece really to, um, to remember is any type of these exams. They use the questions, they ask, they look for critical thinking. They put different hints or requirements into that question. It's very seldom a question that is a simple black or white answer. So um, it's not about just this one exam. You have to look at several exams. Once you understand the concept of what they are looking for, then it's easier to go through these exams. But once you go through and understand how these exams work, it's much easier to calm down, relax, and go through the questions with focus. Don't freak out and don't think, oh, this is a solid eight out of a 10. This is a super difficult exam. No, once you are used to the concept, the difficulty goes down. Again, the critical thinking, looking for different pieces of information. That's a skill that you need to learn. Once you have that skill, a lot of these exams will become much easier. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please give it a like. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. There's also a notification bell. Um, please click that bell and you get notified whenever I upload a new video. New videos are usually coming online once a week. That's it for today. Have a great day. Bye bye.